Karen, you're not a child? What's that? Okay. I, I was going to do the children's message for you anyway. You all can be children this morning. How's that? All right. You didn't need to leave, Karen. You could have stayed. I want to play a little game with you. Okay, are you, are you game? Are you ready? It's called, Are You Sure? I'm going to ask you some things, and you're going to respond, Yes, I am, or No, I'm not. You ready? No, I'm not. <laughs> An honest man over there. Number one. Are you sure the earth is round? Yes. Well, looking out there, I don't see a curve. Just go straight. The maps show it just goes straight. How can you be sure? What says so? Oh, very good. Yes. It's right there. We, we also have pictures, satellite images from above, right, that shows the earth is round. And the Bible tells us it's round. That he really does, so we can be sure. When you were growing up, could you be sure that you would be taller than your siblings or taller than your parents? No, no you had no idea. I was younger, my brother was older. For a number of years, he was bigger than me, and then when it came about 14 or 15, I shot up above him. He had a problem with that. He shoved me into the wall to put me in my place. I, it's a crack in the wall for the longest time. I remember that. We made up. My brother and I are very close. Are you sure the Lions are going to win the football game today, Ron? <laughs> that one's a big question mark, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because they're not playing yet. Are you sure the stories in the Bible are true? You haven't witnessed any of them. You didn't see Abraham stop the knife when he was going to kill Isaac. You didn't see the flood come upon the earth. You didn't see Jesus rise from the dead. How can we be sure of these things? Because God tells us Scripture is His word breathed out. Your life witnesses that there is a God, a gracious God, and that gracious God promises that that is his word. He is the source of truth, and that word is truth. Not to mention how many different ways in the world and in archaeology and in history the Bible shows that it is true. Finally, are you sure that Jesus will give you a crown of righteousness on the last day? You're not there yet. You haven't passed. We can be sure because we believe that happened. That Christ went to the cross, died for our sins, and rose again. Rose to the right hand of God and is coming again to award all of us who believe that that forgives all of our sins and that his resurrection promises us eternal life he will give us that crown of righteousness. So what is the crown of righteousness? Righteousness, eternal life. Righteousness is right standing with God. We are declared to be in right standing with God now because of our faith. But on that last day, you will receive a new body and a new soul. And every hint of sin that still echoes in your life, every bit of that part of Cain that is in you will be gone. You will be perfect as you never have been before. That's the crown of righteousness. And you will live in the presence of God forever, always in right standing with him and with each other. Perfect love shared among us. And that is a wonderful thing to hold fast to. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your gifts of faith, and hope, and, hope. And, the and the promise of the crown of righteousness, crown of righteousness. That, you that you hold for us and will give us on the last day.
In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. You guys were a pretty good, you were a pretty good children's message audience. Not quite as good as the ones I have up here, but you're working on it. <laughs> Are you more sure now? Yeah, I can't hang with Pastor Cottom. No $5 bills to give out. Sorry, guys. We will continue on with our, with our sermon hymn.